This is 1936 Lincoln cent struck on a Nicaraguan 10 cent planchet. Circulated specimen which was graded as AU50 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, the lower obverse and upper reverse have been lightly cleaned, exposing a semicircle of pale silvery metal with faint hairlines visible under scrutiny. The rest of the surfaces remain deeply toned in mottled milk chocolate patina and without notable blemishes. Ideally centered on both sides with the tops of In God We falling off the edge, but the reverse legends completely intact. It was sold for $1,680. Number 7. Here is 1995 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. Graded in Min State 69 read by PCGS. Magnificent error specimen in the threshold of numismatic perfection. According to the Cherry Picker's Guide, this well-known variety was, at one time, featured on the front page of USA Today, heightening its appeal. Doubling is strongest on Liberty and in God, although it is visible elsewhere. Flawless with copper-orange color and a full strike, it ended up selling for $2,661.75 with buyer's fee on October 29, 2023. Number 6. 1957 D. Lincoln sent struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. Bright and lustrous silver with subtle golden highlights scattered about. There is no trace of an underlying Roosevelt design, so this piece was obviously struck on a blank dime planchet. Excellent choice Mint State quality and high on the interest factor list as well. It was sold for $1,920. Number 5. This is 1913 S. Lincoln sent in MS 65 plus red and brown condition. CAC proven superb gem. According to NGC, 1913 S. cents are scarce across all grades, though not to the extent of those from the years immediately preceding and following. Choice examples in the higher circulated grades are quite challenging, due mostly to environmental damage. Mint state pieces tend to be softly struck from worn dyes, and most have little or no original red color. A fully red example should be immediately suspect, unless it has been certified by a major grading service. This one ended up selling for $2,216.25 with buyer's fee on October 29, 2023. Number 4. This is 1969 D. Lincoln sent with first strike brockage error. Graded as MS64 red and brown by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a spectacular mint error, the reverse of this coin displays a sharp, clear mirror image of the Lincoln portrait design from the obverse of a reverse die cap. The obverse is struck properly, that side of the coin displaying light lilac rose patina to an otherwise medium orange surface. The brockage side is richly toned in steel olive, although lighter pale pink color is evident in the recesses. Brockages are among the more appealing mint errors, and first strikes with full detail such as this are quite rare. It was sold for $2,640. Number 3. 1946 S. Lincoln sent in MS67 plus red condition. With a high mintage for a San Francisco mint coin and the usual hoarding of S. mint cents by collectors and speculators, this issue is quite plentiful in mint state grades. Even gems are only slightly scarce, though the more astute collector will want to hold out for one which is fully struck from fresh dyes. These are surprisingly difficult to locate, as the San Francisco mint in the late 1940s was very budget-minded and ran the dyes way too long. When the dyes became too worn, they were refinished to restore their smooth fields, but this resulted in the loss of all shallow design features. This superb gem fetched a sum of $3,054.38 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1940 Lincoln sent in MS-68 red condition. Graded as MS-68 red by NGC. 1940 cents were well made as a rule, and fully red gems are thus common. Most of these are sharply struck, though some may reveal the weakness at the top of O'Nee seen on many Lincoln cents. Red specimens in superb gem grades like MS-68 are rare. This one ended up selling for $4,118.62 with buyer's fee. Number 1. And this is 1925 D. Lincoln sent in MS-66 red condition. According to NGC, the year 1925 is notorious for poorly struck coins from heavily eroded dyes. This applies across all denominations, but it is most apparent in the cents, nickels and dimes. The 1925 D cent is nearly unrivaled as the rarest date with a full strike from fresh dyes. Even the most advanced collector may have to compromise a bit with this issue. 
PCGS reported just three specimens in this high-end grade including this coin, with none finer. This specimen ended up selling for $62,437.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Your likes and comments are highly appreciated guys. Support us by just hitting thumbs up and smashing subscribe buttons. Take care.